Hello everyone, welcome to our studio today. So glad you came by. We're planning on finishing the mural today and we just got a little bit of work left on it. And at the end, we're gonna put it all together and show it on the wall at our little church. Okay, but anyhow, come on over and uh, show you what we've been working on. We've got a whole lot of it worked and we worked on it while y'all was away <laughs> but anyhow we've got a little bit left here and i hope you enjoy this part and i hope you're painting with us but if you're not just sit back and enjoy we'll start out probably right here with a little bit of uh flesh color and i'm gonna pull a little bit of this right over here so i can reach it a little better and i'm gonna darken it just a little bit That's raw cyanide that I'm putting in there with it. Now that may not be quite dark enough, but sometimes I'll start out with the darks and go to the lights. But anyhow, we'll start with the top foot here. And if you notice, I haven't done these uh, uh, sandals yet, but we will work on that. We'll start right here with the bottom of the foot. Oh, that's a good little brush. I like that. Now, what I'm doing, I'm cutting it pretty clean in here, if you notice right around the... the little strap. Now, if you're wondering about these little sandals, this is exactly like some of the sandals that was worn back in Jesus' day. I'm not sure this is what he wore, but I assume that he probably wore something similar to this. But now right there, now what you could do is go down and, and do the shadows down here, but the reason I'm not going to do that, I'm going to use my hand sort of as a, uh, as a scotch, just to, you know, maybe make a little cleaner line. And I'm probably using a little bit bigger brush than I need. Now I'm gonna put just, watch this, a little darker line. Then I'm going to blend that a little bit. And I probably will get, then I have a lot of brushes here. I will grab another little brush. I want one a little bit smaller this time. Wipe it out a little bit. Now I'm going to grab a little more of the, now you can mix this for flesh color, but actually I had this, so I might as well use it. And I'm going to make it a little lighter. A little lighter yet. Most of it won't end up being quite that light, but I'm going to grab a little bit of the alizarin crimson and give it a sort of a reddish cast. Not much, but a little bit. Now, I don't need all the color I got out there, but I just didn't want to run out during the filming. I'm putting a little bit of highlight, not not the high highlight, but just a little bit of light on the edge. And I'm going a little bit over the little leather straps. And you see I've almost made it almost made it round enough there. And 
Put a little bit more light on that one. And a little bit up here. Just make sure that that's filled in good. I'll probably put just a little bit of light right there. And I need a, let me grab another brush. I want one a little bit smaller than that. Go back into my dark color. And I'll put the shadow on the bottom. You see it in uh, now that's almost good enough, almost, but not quite. We'll probably darken down here a little bit and we still got to do all the shoe leather and everything. I've done already done the soles of the, the, the shoes. Now let me grab a little bit more of that color. I need just a little bit darker. I sort of like that there so far. I'm going to try to get just a touch of dark. Right there, okay. Now I put just a little shadow there. I'm gonna go just a little bit darker on the bottom. And I'm going to blend that a little bit. And I'm going to put a little bit, not much, a little bit of shadow there and a little bit of shadow here. And a little bit of shadow under his ankle there. And I need it a little darker here. Okay, now that didn't take long, did it? I'm going to clean that brush up a little bit. I'm going to drop it there and grab another one. This is another clean one. And the reason I want a pretty clean one this time, I'm going to put in his toenails. Now, normally your toenails are lighter. So I'm going to mix a little white with my lightest color. And if you get it a little too light, you can always darken it a little. Okay. And that's a little too light. So I'm going to pull a little more of that color up here. I'm going to darken that a little more, but I'm going to do it with, I'm going to grab a little Payne's Gray. I don't want to mess all my color up there, so I'm going to pull a little of it over here. I'm 
trying to get a shadow color on that, and that's probably a little dark yet. Let's try it. Now I'll add a little highlight to that also. I still don't like that color. This I'm going to try a little darker color. Let me show you what you can do. I don't like that color at all, so. Just wipe it off. Okay, one more time. Okay, that's about what I want. I'll, I will we'll highlight it a little. Beautiful. I'm going to clean him out and highlight it a little bit. Sort of like that. Just a little more highlight. I didn't mean to put that much in there. One more time. Okay, that's what I meant to do. Sometimes these little brushes won't do what you tell them to do. Okay, that's sort of what I had in mind. You know what? We're getting along pretty good. I'm going to go for the, uh, the shoes now. Now, I'm going to use some of the same colors that were used there, but they'll probably be a little darker. So I'm going to start out somewhere right in this area. I believe I'll grab a smaller brush, make life a little easier. Drop him right there. Let me try this one. I hope you're enjoying this series. This has been one of the most enjoyable series that I've done so far this year. And one thing I always want to not forget, I thank Jim so much for, for putting up with us. We're, we're, we're blessed.
we are truly blessed. Now, I could have saved a lot of time with just painting both of them at once. But like I say, I, I wanted to have my hand in it, so I just more or less didn't do it that way. Okay. I'm going to lighten that up a little bit. Whoops. Not sure, let's try a little of that. I think I want it a little lighter than that. I'm pulling that light color back into the dark color. it out a little bit. I want a little bit of, uh, let me grab my white, a little bit of crimson in there. Just a little more orangey. A little bit. Let's try that. You see that gives it a sort of, sort of looks round. And then if you want to, you can really go wild. Maybe Jesus had his shoes shine. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's let's go on to the next one. I think we'll call that an almost finished, okay? Now I'm gonna start to save a little time with a little darker color on this one. Okay, we're starting out with burnt Saini. And I'm going to make it a little heavier to start with. Sort of like that. Put a little line under that, maybe. Then I'm going to go over here. And do the same thing, basically. I'm going to go a little farther with it.
I'm going to go ahead with this brush and put my lines in there. And normally it's a little darker in that area. In other words, right in there, if you see. Now, how I'm getting that, you see how wide the brush is? Well, I'm just using the corner of it. Just the corner of the brush to get close in like that. This has been the most interesting series that we've done this year, at least for me. Because we bless a lot of little children at Christmas. And that's what Christ basically is saying. Okay, I think I'll put just a little dark in there. A little longer. A little longer. Just a little. Maybe a little here. Not much. A little bit. Okay. I'm going to pull in the light color. All right. Now I'm going to, actually I'll probably end up putting a little dark up in that area. I got a spot I need to wipe off here. Beautiful. Now we're going to take a few minutes at the end of the show and let James edit it in because I want to show everyone the picture up on the wall. And we're not going to have time to finish this totally today and that's okay because we want to make sure that it looks e exactly the way we want it. I'll keep working. We've got a few more minutes here.
Beautiful. As you can see, sometimes it takes a little time to finish something. And I'm putting the white right on the end. Now, how I'm doing that again, I'm not using the whole brush. I'm just using right on the edge of it. And normally you would take a little liner brush down here and do this. But we pretty well got them, didn't we? You know what I believe I will do? I believe I'll call this a finished picture and let them edit in what we're doing up at the building any way that they can do it because I want to put a few extra highlights in this one and I don't have time to do it because I don't even have his shoe. Anyhow, we appreciate you joining us today, Lord. And I tell you what, we're going to come back and show you the exact full painting on the wall. It'll be almost 15 feet long. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching us. Goodbye and God bless. Okay, what we're trying to do here now is just finish his uh, sandals up. And we're using a little bit of Van Dyke Brown and a little burnt stain. And we're just pulling a dark color down on the sandals. And we'll lighten that up. These sandals are similar to the ones probably that the Romans wore. I'm just smearing a little brown on there just to get the coverage right now and trying to do right right in here for instance this little brush is an okay brush but it's it's not smooth on the end so i'm gonna drop it and i need one that's really smooth on the end let me go over and grab another one that looks better and the reason i need that i'll show you right here 
There's a little shadow as the loop goes over his toes right here. And you see, I, I've done that little teeny thing with that big brush. The secret, a lot of times, is the way you hold the brush. Most of the time, you're using the flat edge of the brush, but in these little teeny spots like this, you're just using a little bit of the brush, a little bit of the edge of it. Now I'm going to put some highlight in there. I want to do similar to the same color we've done on the other one. We want to try to make them as, as close to the same color, you know, as you can. And we decided to make Jesus the... Uh, little brown shoes instead of black. And I'm sure they had black shoes back then too. I'm going to grab a little more of that color, put a little bit right there because I want it sort of like that. And I'm going to grab a little dark and pull it right in here. And I want light right over in that area. Then we'll pull this line around here. I probably will come back with a light line and pull it around that way. And his feet, occasionally I'll go down and put a little bit darker area on the bottom. Same here, you know. Now I'm going to pull a little color right in here. Some of this looks real, real tedious and close. And there's a lot of other brushes you can use. But I like these little flat brushes. They seem to work really, really well. I'm going to grab a little more of that yellow. Probably for both things. Back here, this area would be a little darker. at least darker than your highlight. Now, as you can see, we've got a lot of beautiful highlights in Jesus' shoes. I'm going to outline the front of that, I think, a little bit. You see that most of that is just totally highlight. Right in here. And they literally had shoes exactly like this that made out of leather that your toes fit in. Okay, I think we're going to get our outlining brush here.
this is a little long hard brush that uh, two things it holds a lot of paint and you can make real fine lines with it now the other shoe you, it's got a shadow on the back of it. this would not have because the front of it is in the in the light And you can pull a little line around like that, you see. Get a little more color. I'm going to pull one right around here. I can almost go all the way around that one. But not quite. It helps if you're not nervous. <laughs> Just a little highlight. 